Alright guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another video. As requested by one of my followers, I am going to do um, a room tour of my nail studio. So this is not voiced over, um, this is all recorded. So as you can see, starting off, I have my office area here where I do all of my videos. And then we've got my nail desk here. This is my apron with my logo on, which I absolutely love. As you can see, I've stuck with the orange theme for my room. So this is my desk. So this desk I purchased from Ikea. Now I bought, the top bit is a full desk, but I only actually used the top bit of it. The rest of it is still in the box because I didn't need it. And then I've got my Alex drawers here, which I've used. So all I've done is I've attached the desk on that side um, to the wall. And then I've got it here, you, me, Alex drawers as the other end. Now, as you can see from the side, I've got two shelves here. Now these shelves gain from Ikea. They are picture frame holders, which they work great for putting bedroll um, and paper towels on. And at the side here as well, I, this is where I keep all of my main tools. So I've got my, um, my monomer here. Um, which I keep there to fill up my box because I actually use a, a mender pump. I've got my cleanser and acetone um, there as well. These are all my metal tools that I use regular. Hand sanitizer and I've got um, a top coat here and um, some cuticle oil. I use the CND solar oil because it's like really really nice. And then we've got the CND cuticle away as well. This stuff is absolutely amazing. So if you've got a client that have got quite um, dry hard cuticles and hard to remove, this thing is amazing. Um, here as well, I have the Mondo surface sanitizer. So that's great for cleaning my desk with. This here, oh, move my masks out the way. This obviously useful when I'm drilling. This is my iPad holder, which I use for when I'm recording. Um, now I got this thing from eBay. It's a bit uh, more expensive. Um, I think I paid about £25 for it, but it is absolutely fantastic. I can move it nice and easy. And the best thing about it, because it's on a steady pole, it doesn't drop down with the weight of the iPad and it just attaches to my desk like this. So on my desk here, I've got um, a little set of acrylic drawers here, which I keep some of my indigo glitters in, and they're all the chromes that I own. And then here, I've got my Sayang K38. This is absolutely amazing drill, love it to bits. And I've got all my drill pieces and things here. This is my practice hand Fred. so I don't know whether any of you guys name me practice hand, but yeah, I'm sad, I do. <laughs> so I've got the UV LED daylight lamp there, and then on the other side of my desk I've got my CND LED lamp there as well. This thing I purchased off eBay with hand rest. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's a bit too tall, so I'm going to cut the legs down on it and lower it because it is quite high up. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to I'm definitely going to do that. Um, at the side here, I have got a little holder with my brushes, and then I've got two pots here with my um, lint-free wipes. These ones are wax strips. I find these much better because the you no know, bits, even though they say they're lint-free. Um, that I tend, these tend to get fluff off them, which is really annoying. Okay, and then I've just got some hand lotion here at the side. 
So, when it comes to my Alex drawers, they're not completely organised yet, so some of them are a bit of a mess, so please excuse that. So, in the top drawer, this is where I mainly keep my stuff that I use all the time. So, I've got all my cover pinks here, which um, I'm using the CJP system at the moment. I've got a few NSI here, but um, I use these mainly for my practice tips. But I've got my CJP dehydrator, um, CJP grip glue, and then I also my primer is normally here as well. Um, where have I put it? Okay. Right, I've put it somewhere. Right, not to worry, I'll find it. But. I've got me acid bomb primer here, the CJP, and um, a bit of cuticle oils that I've been using, I've got leftover, so this is the Nail Nails one, some more cuticle oil, some NSI Polybond, and I did recently do the CND liquid to powder conversion course, so I have got some CND powders as well. So. In there and a few random things like glitters from there and also the glitter planet crystals absolutely love these things they're really really affordable as well and they're very effective they're the opal ones they're really pretty and then we've got some of the unicorn pearls in them ones as well so my soft fluffy brush and then we're here we've got a few pigments some pearls there and then at the top here this is where I keep all my spare metal tools like nail art dotting tools and um, spare paint brushes for when I'm doing nail art and um, also I have got my crystal picker upper here this is the one from cjp this is fantastic best one i found yet it's really great and because the end's only small it's great for you picking up small crystals as well so that's mainly everything in the oh, don't kill my brush that's mean everything in my top drawer then in my second drawer down i have got all my forms these ones um are from think NSI oh no sorry tell a lie these are CJP ones and then these ones are the NSI ones and then I've got some of the CND ones there from when I've done the course these are all my um, clear jelly stamping polishers and then I've got my crystal clear stamping stamp it there that one's from no you and um, these are all my files that I'm currently using and then I've got loads of these glitters now you can pick these glitters up from the range they're only a couple of pounds and you get a lot in them so which is great and um, just some design tips some blue tack for me design tips some netting um, I think this one is from the Glitter Fairies website and then we've got some net in there as well and um, some angel paper from the Glitter Fairy as well and then just some pink netting also I um, can't remember where I got this one from I'm sorry um, so we've got just got some nail guards, little pots of gel that I don't really use because I don't really do gel anymore but I am looking to get back into it soon. Like I say, these drawers are a mess. I have not sorted them out completely yet. The back here we've got some Moyu stamping plates which are my favourite. I've also got a few of the clear jelly layering plates as well. I will try and do another little tour once I've sorted all these drawers out properly but I'm still in the process of making it all work for me. So this drawer down I've got me CJP 
powders, core powders. So we've got the cherry blossom there. These are the big ones. And then, of course, I've got my crystal glass. And then <clears throat> at the side here, I've got some monomer left from the NSI, which is used for my tips, practice tips. And then we've got some CND scrub fresh. Again, this is from when I did the course. Um, what have we got? We've got brush cleaner there, nail nails, and then the little bags from the bin. So these are glow in the dark pigments from the Glitter Fairy. And then this is my tool sanitizer that I use for sanitizing my tools. We've got a few. I've been having a little try of the gel bottles and um, gels. So that's the clear rubber base. And then I got a nice cover pink. And then I got the rubber top coat as well. Um, that's just a bit of paint thinner that I use for when I'm just doing some nail art things. We've got a CND Vinylux top coat there. Just some of these little bottles are like sample test um, kits and things that I've picked up over the years. And the CND Monomer, I've got two of them from when I'm doing the course as well. So it's where I keep all my nail tips. Most of them are from um, Glitter Planet and I think I've got one from CJP as well. I keep me little metal tools here. This is for when I'm doing some 3D work. I've not really played with them that much to be honest so that's something I want to practice in the future. Just some cotton pads. These are some of the Glitter Fairies layering stamping plates and again they're all um, not glitter. Why am I saying glitter fairy? Clear jelly stamper, sorry should I say. Okay and then oh that's just a little bit left over glitter there. I've got my rubber gloves there and then I've got my CND foil removal there for when I'm removing any products and then for the back here we've got some striping tapes these holders are from eBay they're absolutely brilliant because every as you know trying to get a hold of um, striping tape when you've got nails is an absolute nightmare so it's, yeah that's a must-have some more practice tips this little thing here is a little tiny UV um, LED, sorry, LED lamp. That, I think that was from Madden Glam. I don't really use it. It's sat in the drawer since I've got it. But it's handy to have, I suppose. This is where I keep all my spare products. So I've got all my new nail files here. Yeah. Um, I use these on top of foil because I like to use the foil because it keeps the acetone hot. Um, and it makes removal so much quicker. You can get these off eBay. They're not 99p for 10 of them some more wax strips and then these are the exotic edge tips from glitter planet i've got some nsi ones there some empty tubs for more buffer blocks some cmd tips as well from when i did the course and then there's just all random tips in this one here these i must say guys if you're looking for any kind of nail file buffers these CND ones are absolutely amazing. Now they are 180 grit. I mean, if you feel the foam on them, they don't feel like it, but these are fantastic for finish filing when you're buffing your nails. And then bottom drawer is literally just random nail art stuff. More design tips. That's all nail nails gels. And um, they're empty tubs because every time I do get me glitters from the Glitter Fairy, I've got the monthly subscription. I put them in the big round stacker pots because it's much easier for me to grab. Um, dental floss, which is great for when you're colour blocking. Um, some flowers. Um, nail art stickers. Again, these are just all empty bags and tubs from when I put them in for 
I'm going to move that to my little palette. And then we've got some of these things. There's just loads of random stuff here. In the Yankee tin, I've got all my Sharpie pens as well. And then in the back, blue one here, this is just all my acrylic paint. So that draws just a bit of a mess because it is literally just all nail art things. So moving back onto my desk, I've got my daylight lamp here, which I love this thing, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, let's go round. So I've got my two salon chairs here. And then on here at the moment, because I'm not using it at the minute, which is my glitter board. See, it's a bit of a mess, and it's cleaning at the minute. Okay, so over here on this shelf, um, I've got some of my colour pops, some random nail polishes. We've got Morgan Taylor there. We've got Mega Mix things, and a bit of the Blue Sky ones. And then up here, I've got all my NSI colours. I've not done any pops for these yet, but eventually I do want to get them done. Top shelf, um, it's just random stuff I've picked up over the years. And then of course I've got my certificate there. So on this side of the wall, I've got all my Neo Nails Urban Graffiti colours. I love their colours. Um, I've been using theirs for quite some time. So I've got all my top coat, base coats, matte top coats and then I've got a few different ones of plain colours and glitter ones, pale ones there. Then I've got my Lucente rack there with all my CND colours on top. They're all my Moyu stamping polishes and then a few random glitters, the Lucente ones and then foils as well. And then moving across I have got the OPI's normal nail polishes and then I've got all my gelish ones there and then there I've got some little CND creative play sets for if my clients want to purchase any colours to top up. On here on this wall I've got my CND certificates there and there. Ignore the box. I am I'm always gonna do some designs in there because at the minute it's like the worst ones that I've done is in that I put them in there to remind myself of how far I've come since I started. Top shelf here, this is all my glam and glitz collection. I absolutely love glam and glitz colours, they are stunning. Um, so I've just blue tacked the tips though that I've done there and behind them we've got some nail nails glitters and then these are all the stacker tubs that I put all of my glitters in now I got all these from the range they're about £2.50 and I think you get about six in each one and then I've got some glitter fairy um Chris these are oh sorry tell a lie they're glitter planets Christmas limited edition ones that they did and then we've got the Glitter Fairy, this is the Autumn Collection. And then we've also got the Winter Collection. And then we've got some of the Glitter Fairy's foils. Some random NSI glitters that I've had like forever. And then this is my Marshmallow Stamper, which I've never actually used because I like the Kaleidoscope one. So below here, I've got, this is all my CJP colours. I've still got a few more that needs to go on here because I've not finished doing the um, pops for them all yet. As you can see, I've still got some space there. So I've got some of the 3D gel, but the, I'm sorry, 3D, I don't know what we call it, 3D gel, but this stuff's called Plasticine. I picked this up at um, Professional Beauty North in Manchester. So I've just got them two there, then I've got some of my gel play, I've got a white and a black there. Um, that's what I was using for my acrylic before I changed over to a mender pump. <laughs> this has got to be the only CJP gel polish that I own. I bought one just to give them a try, but to be honest I don't really use gel polishes that much anymore. 
because I tend to do more acrylic designs so yeah I'm not ready to invest in another system yet some more empty tubs waiting for some more gorgeous glitters and then I've got a load of little CND cuticle oil for my clients and then the bottom here this is basically I just have this for show um, and I've got my two big Salon Pro plates let's move these out of the way so I've got my Moyu Salon Pro plate that one and then I've got the Kate one underneath there and then in my orange box under here this is where I keep all my tool sanitizer spare monomer um, the NSI spray sanitizer empty bottles it's just basically all my extras and I've got my big bottle of acetone there at the back okay so that guys is pretty much it let me move back so yep that's got to be my favourite wall look at all them beautiful colours but they're my main systems at the minute Glam and Glitz and CJP. See? And then my desk. I love my new desk. It works so much better. See, I'm still finishing off these colours here. These are to go on the shelf. The ones that I've not finished yet. This is my Mender Pump that I use for my monomer. Ah, there's my primer. See, couldn't find it in the drawer before because I've left it out. Um, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching and for all your support. If you've got any requests that you'd like me to do, then please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that. Don't forget, we've got a Facebook page um, support group called Nimble Nails Education and Support. So make sure you pop on over and join that. You've got I've got loads of really good um, ladies on the admin team that will be there to help if you've got any questions or if you would like anything demonstrating, then they'd be more than happy to help. So yeah, make sure you pop on over and check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon while I'm doing a new video. So...